Hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm Simsbury. Welcome to my channel. This has been a long time coming. Oh, my gosh. I have had to restart this Let's Play probably three times now. Um, I have a new microphone. <laughs> Everything seems to be in working order now. I've had a few technical difficulties, but you know what? It's all good. It's all part of the process. <laughs> but without further ado, I'm really excited to get into this Let's Play. So, I'm just going to go ahead and Control shift c testing cheats true, and go ahead and do money zero. There you go. Zero dollars. I plopped her on the cheapest lot in Oasis Springs, which was about $1,500. So, with that being said, um, my original plan for this Let's Play was definitely to go towards the writing route, and I think we still can do that, but I don't know. <laughs> I think it would be really cool if we opened up a retail store and kind of worked towards that. Um, that sounds like something that would be really fun and entertaining uh, to do, because I don't really do retail stores very often in The Sims 4, and unfortunately, since I don't have the Dine Out expansion pack, I think it would be a way to make this a little bit more interesting. So, I was thinking about different sort of things that we could, um, sell in our store, and I was thinking we could potentially do woodworking. Um, let's see, is this... Uh, where is it? Work? Yeah. Okay, so the woodworking table, um, that's $750, so that's definitely gonna be, like, up there. I think the first things that I want to get, um, is definitely a toilet and a bed, and probably a shower before we get this. Um, well, definitely a bed, if anything. Um, definitely a bed. And then maybe, you know, we can get this next and then that way hmm, we can try and make money off of it. I don't know. And then, you know, we can open our own retail store and go ahead and um, sell our woodworking things. And I think that'd be really cool and kind of fun. It's not really something I've ever um, touched on. So I think that'd be awesome. So here we are with Miss Lola. We have seen her before. I did a whole cast video on her. It wasn't the longest cast video in the world, but it definitely kind of um, highlighted a little bit of her life. Um, just to go over it briefly, she is a sim who has found herself for some unknown reason without a house, without a family, having to start back on her own again. And, um, you know, she's up to the challenge. She's ready to get it, get it go in. I was going to say get it on, but then I was like, mm, that's not, eh, I could say something better. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. I think first things first is we're going to probably go to the park and, um, look for things that we can dig and collect and hopefully someone will make us some food and we can go to the bathroom there and everything. So it's pretty cool. Um, I feel like when you're kind of doing the rags churches challenge, the parks are your f best friends, <laughs> just your best friends. Um, the last couple times I tried to start this let's play, I, it was weird. Some things didn't spawn and my game was acting kind of weird. And also that Johnny guy or whatever that was walking up before we left just hates me always. Does he hate me? No, we don't even know. Because, like, I guess he's the only guy in the neighborhood, and then he comes with, like, the welcome wagon, and then, like, <laughs> we're like, we don't want you here, and he's like, well, I hate you, so goodbye. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, like, nothing is spawning over here, because I know for a fact that there are, like, things that you can dig in certain areas in this park that show up in the same spots every time, and I'm not seeing them, so... I wonder if maybe we go to the other park and then come back here later. We could probably find them because the, yeah, nothing's really, nothing's really spawned. Um, 
Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. Let's try to go to the other park and see if things have spawned um, over there. And then we can come back over here. Because I would say probably digging up things is the best way to make money thus far. <laughs> I, I haven't really... I mean, collectibles, digging things up, fishing, all that sorts is probably the best way that you're going to get money out of um, starting anew. So let's see. Hopefully some things have spawned over here. Um, wow, it's 1.30 in the morning. I didn't realize... I've tried and tried again to record this part today so many times. I tried, I was like, I'm going to get it up today, I promise. And then I just couldn't do it, you know. Certain things just kind of happen. It's unfortunate, but trying my hardest. I'll probably record a few tonight so I can kind of have them few extra ones for you guys since I'm so late on posting everything and I'm just not seeing diggables. I, the thing is I could look for frogs and stuff but honestly the they're not even worth my time. They're like ten dollars each and the diggables are like 70, 80. Jeez this is frustrating. It's I don't know it always happens like this when you're starting off with the new game but here's one dig. Okay, hopefully that's something good. Um, not sure, though. Is there anything over here? They like to disguise things in rocks and stuff like that. Yeah, here's one. Okay, so yeah, when we're finding some stuff, that's good, at least. I was, <laughs> I was really worried we were gonna have to go, like, immediately back to the other park, because that's honestly, that's all I want right now, is stuff to dig up. That's all I want. It's like the best way to make quick cash. And like number one on my priority is for sure, for sure a bed because sleep is the one that's the hardest to kind of get situated when you're taking naps on benches and everything like that. It is really difficult. Um, to get your sim like a full night's sleep and everything so oh is this shiny oh it's the lighting I thought I was like <laughs> I thought that was a diggable but it wasn't it was just a shining rock from the light <laughs> all right let's see hopefully you guys can't hear my mouse clicks too too bad I can't really hear myself right now, so I can't tell if it's loud or not, but certainly I'll find out in editing. So hopefully it's not too bad though, um, and hopefully you guys can hear me okay. My microphone's pretty close, but it is in a different position than I had it the past couple times. Um, I don't know, because what happened was my microphone and pop filter are kind of big, and so the way I had it positioned, it was on top of my desk, but it still had to be in front of my face so I could talk and do it. And it kind of, like, cut into the screen a little bit. And fun fact about me, uh, my left eye is, like, it has, like, a pulled muscle in it or something. I don't know what kind of muscle it's called. I forget. But it's basically, like... Oh, there's a diggable. Didn't even see that. Um, it's basically like if I close my right eye and only look through my left eye, like in looking at an object, that object is going to be higher than if I look at it through my right eye, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so because my eye is kind of like the, the muscle in my eye kind of like is a strained so it forces my eye to be like slightly off skew. It's not so much the point where it's noticeable like at all. The only time that it affects me is with like, um, you know, computer games and movies and TV and um, reading and stuff like that where it's kind of like 
strenuous on my eyes. Like, when I go to the movies, um, if it's an action movie, I have to sit really far back, um, because I have to see the entire screen with both eyes. Um, I can't, like, pan across the screen, um, up close or anything like that, because it gives me motion sickness, and that's really, (laughs) that sucks. So, um, the, so, oh, yeah, microphone. (laughs) So, basically, um, the microphone was on my left side, and it was cutting into the screen, and I was looking at the screen from my eyes in two different ways, and it was, like, really messing me up. (laughs) And because of that, I was just, like, I can't, I gotta change it. So, I mean, I knew what it sounded like when it was in that position, but now it's changed, so I'm hoping it sounds okay. Um, getting back to the game here, I think I found all of the things that we can dig up that have spawned at the moment. I know there's more, but they're not here right now. So, I'm gonna try and go back to the other, um, place. And we got a few things. Um, I'll sell those when we get to the other park. So, let's see. Oasis Springs. Desert Bloom. That's a pretty name for a park. I like it. Okay. I saw we had a treasure map in our inventory. Those are like 80 bucks. So, that's pretty sweet. Um, I think like the cheapest bed we can get is the kid's bed, which is... 250 or 60 or something. I don't really know. Um, 80. 20. Mm, that's okay. And this is um, three of the same thing, which, oh, sweet. 150. That's sweet. Okay, so now we can officially afford a bed, but um, obviously we're going to try and get more money. Um, Bed first, for sure. I, I don't know, like, I really want that woodworking table, but I feel like it's kind of important to get our needs kind of squared away before we start going into that. But at the same time, if we get that first, then we'll be able to make money faster and then go into the park and digging everything. And that could be better, possibly, but I don't know. It's all just kind of, like, up in the air, kind of like what you think is best. I don't know. Eh. (laughs) Um, bed first. That's for sure. Okay. I know I've said that like a million times, (laughs) but I mean it. And I'm gonna (coughs) keep saying it until I make sure I don't do something stupid and get the other thing because I really want it. (laughs) Have to control myself. (laughs) All right. Um, have you guys noticed that I've (laughs) <laughs> played this part like three times because I know where every single dig spot is. Oh, that's for frogs? I've never seen that before. Oh, it's like that is so cute. It's like a little well. Oh my gosh, I've never seen that before. That's adorable. Alright. I've noticed that like all of the dig spots are like around the perimeter for both parks. And then it's just kind of like, whatever. <laughs> They're not in the middle. Um, I always check, you know, just to make sure, but. Um, <laughs> okay, you guys know that song from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Um, where the dwarfs are like singing hi ho. And they're like, we dig, 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 dig something all day long (laughs) in the mines in the mines in the mines (laughs) that song is stuck in my head every single time I dig for like collectibles or anything like that I'm just (laughs) sitting here digging fossils and crap and I'm just like in the mines (laughs) alright Oh, my mouse is going kind of crazy. I think that's... Oh, no. I was wrong. I feel like we've got some good money kind of going up right now. So that's pretty sweet. So after we finish 
digging everything, I think we'll go ahead and take a break and fill up our needs and everything. And because um, she's getting a little antisocial. So for sure, after we finish um, digging and all that, we'll find someone in the park to talk to. So she's not so lonely. And I think this person over here just made food. So that's pretty chill. We'll go ahead and eat that too. Um, I saw there was more food over there too. So hopefully I'm not making you guys sick or anything with moving my camera around so much. I'm just trying to, <laughs> just trying to find some diggables. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wait, did I already put these? I was like, did they already respawn? No, I haven't gotten to them yet. These are like the last three, right? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, let's just go ahead and super speed this up a little bit because... Um, it's kind of boring. <laughs> so, 25. Eh. Oh, sweet. Romantium. That's actually really cool. I've never, ever seen that. I low-key don't want to sell it, to be totally honest. Uh, you know, I'll keep it. But we might end up selling it later. Because <laughs> it's, it's really cool, but it's also worth some cash, you know? So... Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do. Limestone is good. That's like 50 bucks a piece. So that's $200 just right there. Um, grab a plate, girl. Sit down. Relax. Meet some people. Oh, that girl was bald. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Nothing wrong with being bald or anything. Try to put that out there. It's, oh, you know, she's got that weird hair. I, there's a CC hair in my game, and I don't know whose it is or where it's from or anything like that, but it's just, uh, oh my god. It does not look good, obviously. It does not, the mesh isn't right. I don't know. It's weird. Ugh, it sucks. I, I can't find it. I need to get rid of it. Are you talking to, yeah, you're talking to people. Okay, $200. That's awesome. I think we can get a bed and a toilet. Um, I think we're definitely going to get the woodworking table in this part. Um, I mean, this part might be totally boring because at this point we're just kind of going around trying to find money. Um, and that's never really that fun. So, <laughs> I mean, the first parts of any kind of like rags to riches is pretty boring. Um, the more exciting things kind of happen when you actually start to make money and start to slowly, um, accumulate, <laughs> you know, a house and, um, a business and stuff like that. So I got the hiccups, man. I like, do, <laughs> do any of you guys get those like hiccup burps? <laughs> You, like, hiccup and then you burp, like, immediately after. <laughs> I just had one of those. Hopefully it wasn't loud or anything. I felt like it was pretty quiet, but <laughs> who knows? Um, okay, so your social's okay. Can you come play chess with somebody? Yeah, come play chess with Nancy Landgrab, huh? Join game. I'll just speed it up over here. I think I want to take her to the gym because the gym has, um, showers and a TV so we can get her fun up. And, um, whoa, did you guys see that glitch? That was weird. Weird. All right. Um, like I was saying, the gym has showers and, uh, TVs so we can totally get her fun up all the way. Um, oh, Nancy, why you gotta play me like that? Okay. Um, yeah, go pee, and then we'll head to the gym, and then, <laughs> I don't know why I followed her, but I did. <laughs> All right. Man, I want toddlers in this game so bad. Uh, travel. No, don't travel with anybody. Okay. 
Okay, the gym. Um, I kind of want to look back at the other park real quick before we go home, just because I really want to find all of the things that we can dig up before it gets, like, into the next day where they respawn. So, um, oh, wow, your needs are kind of, like, up. All right, well, take a shower anyway, and... We'll just have you watch some TV or something. Yeah, I find, like, throughout this challenge, I feel like social and energy are the two hardest things to, um, kind of, like, keep track of. It's really easy to not be able to sleep well, and it's really easy to just not talk to people, so, um... I'm glad we got her social up, because that's going to be helpful. And, oh, cool, she's actually talking to people right now. To, why isn't her social going up? You're literally talking to people. And you don't, okay. I was like, <laughs> wait a second. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Let's see if maybe we can get her social all the way up, too, because that would be sweet. Is she making any friends? I mean, not really. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's go home. We'll wait to go to the other park. It's no biggie. Don't know why she, like, never put her clothes back on. <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool. You do you. It's alright. <laughs> alright. I've always wanted to try the voodoo doll, but I never really got to it. Okay. So let's take a look at build mode. I friggin hate the graph, so I'm gonna turn that off. There we go. Does anybody else hate the graph? Because I hate it. <laughs> I really, really, really don't like it. Um, that's the same price. I mean, honestly, we could, I think, get this one. Um, red. I like the red one. And then we'll get her a toilet. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. So, sleep. And we'll just fast forward through this. Man, I feel like I've been finding spiders, like, just everywhere around my house. Um, I don't know why I just said spiders like a baby, too. <laughs> Spidles. Um... <laughs> Seriously, I just killed the freaking biggest wolf spider ever. Man, it's like, I live here alone, and like, I gotta be my own man sometimes and just kill the spiders and deal with it. Um, but like, low-key, not gonna lie, I have a spider, <laughs> another spider trapped underneath um, a bowl of popcorn that just has like the kernels left over in it, <laughs> but like... I just moved into my apartment, and I have, like, an ant problem, like, a little sugar ant problem. It's really frustrating, so I was like, okay, so the spider, I was gonna kill it, right? I was gonna get it. And I, like, stepped to the side, and, like, he stepped to the side. He was, like, following my moves, and I was like, oh, no, <laughs> no, and so, like, I had a popcorn bowl because I was watching the new season, season four of Orange is the New Black, and I had, like, girl, I had my popcorn with a bunch of butter, and I was watching that ish so hard. Oh my god, no spoilers, but oh my god. Oh, that one part where that one person did that thing. Man. <laughs> it was so intense, and I know I'm just being, like, a total jerk right now because that was, like, ridiculously, um, and rudely vague, but that, uh, the whole season is honestly just nuts and so crazy, and, um, well, I don't want the social event. Can you, like, not? Is it? Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, you're not wanted here, and look, now he hates me. <laughs> see? He hates me, this Johnny guy, every single time. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go to the park because we need to get some noms and, um, we need to find some monies. So, anyway, <laughs> um, I went to the bathroom. There was a big wolf spider and I was like, geez, 
<clears throat> you know? And my bowl of popcorn was, like, done, and it was on my counter. And so I went to go get my shoe so I could squash that mf -er, but... Like I said, he like friggin' followed my every step. He was like friggin' mirroring my every move. Like what kind of spider does that? Okay. And <laughs> I was like, I have to do something now because I don't want this ish in my bedroom because my bathroom is attached to my bedroom. And I tell you what, this carpet <laughs> that they put in my apartment is so hard to find spiders on. It is like, you lose a bug on this carpet, it's gone forever, you know? <laughs> and that is not fun. So, basically, <laughs> um, I'm gonna look for frogs, even though it's not worth my time, because I don't think anything's respawned, but... Anyway, so I grab my popcorn bowl and I put it on top of the spider, and it's got like a little lip. So the spider is like, still alive underneath this popcorn bowl. <laughs> it's not like flat bottom. It's got like a little like whoop underneath, you know, <sighs> like geez. And it's like a fast spider too. So if I take the popcorn bowl off, even with a shoe, I don't know if I'll get it. So I'm just kind of like, I mean, this is kind of bad, but I'm just kind of waiting for him to die at this point, you know? <sighs> but like, anyway, so like I have this ant problem and like the ants are mostly in my bedroom. And like, I mean, I have two rats, two pet rats. And, um, the ants really like to eat their food, so it's kind of hard to get rid of the ants since they have such a huge food source in my house. Um, but, you know, like, I put out the ant baits and everything like that, and, um, um, so I was like, okay, this popcorn bowl is on top of a spider, and it, just, it needs to stay that way. <laughs> but, like... I have ants and there's like food in this bowl and I was like what am I gonna do? So I went to the kitchen and I got some plastic wrap <laughs> and I sealed the top of that bowl <laughs> and it has been sitting in my bathroom for three days. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like a real, you know, manly man going, oh yeah, I just killed a spider. Ugh, like the spider I killed earlier today. And then I look at that bowl and I'm like, nope. <laughs> I am not as strong as I think I am. Oh, this is so frustrating. There's no diggle bowls. Did I already look for frogs in that thing? Probably. Oh uh, my goodness. I don't know. I think at this point we're just gonna have to wait a couple days and wait for everything to respawn. Um, I think that's what we're gonna have to do because there's no way that there's like anything else because I've looked, girl. I have, oh, I clicked out of the screen. I have looked. <laughs> and unless you're seeing something I don't, I don't see it. <laughs> so... I mean, we can focus on our needs for right now. She's pretty darn hungry. Um, we've been on the lot for a while. I would bet your bottom dollar that maybe somebody... <laughs> I went from really confident to, like, maybe. <laughs> um, maybe someone has made some food. Possibly. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Um, well, there's none over here. Um... I thought... Yeah, then there's more picnic benches, aren't there? Um, yeah, no, okay, yeah, yeah, food, food, food. Um, also, after we eat, I'm actually gonna go ahead and double check on those glow fruit plants, the trees, because, uh, I, I don't know, they might be worth money if we harvest them, possibly. And if so, there's a lot of them, so that could be helpful for us. Oh, I thought I saw something move out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> All right, who's this guy? You're cute. You, like, literally remind me of someone in my life right now. Haha. <laughs> That's funny. You have, like, the same face. <laughs> Adorable. I like your plaid. And it's that weird CC lady <laughs> with her weird hair. Okay, are you gonna eat or what, girl? Um, is that what the hair is supposed to look like in the picture? Because 
No, oh, dang it. I thought maybe <laughs> I had a clue to finding that so I could take it out of my game or, like, find the mesh, at least, or something. I have so many hairs in my game, it's ridiculous. I'm probably gonna do, um... I'll, I'll do another episode of Rags to Riches tomorrow, and then probably, um... I'll go ahead and do a CC kind of shopping video for you guys, um, for Max's match type stuff. Um, why can't I harvest? Do I not, like, have... Oh, there isn't anything. I thought, like, maybe you could harvest it because it was, like, glowing and ish, but that's okay. None of them can? No. Mm. Well, okay. <laughs> this is boring. <laughs> How long have I been recording for? Um good amount of time. Um, all right. Well, since kind of there's like a little bit of a break, I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. And thank you guys so much for being supportive. And I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> thank you so much, you guys. And I will see you later. Bye.